Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the expenses of MRCS journey from A to Z, from your graduation till you reach UK. Let's go! The cost of the exam, MRCS part A cost, which is 578 pounds. Then you need resources to study, for example the EMRCS, as we said in the video. If you want to subscribe for 4 months, then it's 35 pounds. And if you want to subscribe for 6 months, then it's 40 pounds. And you can also involve in courses. The price of, of the average courses is from 200 to 400 pounds. And I don't recommend courses at MRCS Part A because it's not its exam and you can study it by yourself. Then MRCS Part B exam. The cost of the exam is 1047 pounds. There is multiple courses. The average price is from 300 to 500 pounds. We spoke about the course of MRCS Part B. It really depends on your level. If you have the money for the course, then involve in a high rated course and read the reviews for that course. But if you don't have the money, don't bother about it. Focus more about practicing with someone. So if you cannot take any course because you have limited budget, just practice. Then travel and accommodation cost, which is usually £1,000. If you have an opportunity to take MRCS Part B in your home country, that's much better. After you pass MRCS Part A and Part B, you will pay the membership election fees, which is £220. And after that, you're going to pay the membership subscription. Usually, it's £351 per year if you are in a high income country. If you are in a low income country, you're gonna pay 67 pound per year. As you can see here in this picture, these are the countries that consider low income countries. If you live in any country of these, you're gonna pay 67 pounds a year. The good thing about the membership subscription, you can pay monthly, so you don't need to pay all the money once. You can pay around 30 pounds a month, which will count 351 pounds a year. After that, you're going to do your EPIC verification. You will establish your account first, which will cost you £107.96. Then you're going to upload your credential for verification. You will upload your final medical diploma, which will cost £85.76. And also, you're going to upload the membership letter that you're going to receive from the Royal College of Surgeons. The membership letter verification will cost you £85.76. Then, cost of OET exam. Usually, OET exam costs around £329. If you need to travel to take OET, then you're going to consider traveling cost, which is usually from £20 to £500. If you can take OET at your home country, that's the best choice. But if you need to travel, you need to consider traveling cost. So if you're traveling outside your home country and you're taking MRCS Part B, for example, in December, it's a wise decision to take OET immediately after Part B. So plan early for that to reduce the cost of traveling. So you travel once to take two exams, MRCS Part B and OET. And then you're going to apply for GMC registration. The application costs around £433, which paid once. To remain in the register, which is a subscription fee, you need to pay £420 a year, and you can pay monthly, of course. The good news here, you can discount 50% if your gross annual worldwide is 34000 per year or less. And you can apply for this discount using your GMC online account. Go to your GMC online account. And then you will find fees and subscription and then you will find discounts and you can apply online or you can send a form and lastly we have something for free here application for jobs are free and interviews are free ticket to uk usually will cost 300 to 500 pound and visa will usually cost 150 to 300 pounds but put in mind, some hospital will pay you back when you start with them. So ask during your interview or when you are signing your contract, ask your hospital, will the cost of the ticket and the visa be reclaimed? Some hospital will even pay your rent for the first month. 
as you can see here the total cost is 4,452 pounds and 88 pence to 7,162 pounds and 88 pence the variation here depend on your courses your resources will you travel will you not travel so do your best and plan early to spend as less as you can and lastly i want to say don't let this number discourage you if you don't have the budget just focus on your first step which is mrcs part a and enjoy your journey